So I always like looking at the latest 13F of Michael Burry as I have found pretty good buying opportunities before using the 13F like GEO, uh, CoreCivic, Chartered Communications, all these companies I made pretty amazing gains finding them from Michael Burry's 13F and in this 13F he actually bought CVS which is pretty amazing. This is a stock we talked about on the channel and he also bought WBD which is Warner Brothers Discovery and this is the stock I'm going to focus on in this video and I'm going to do an analysis on it because no one should be buying WBD just because Michael Burry did because he might be out of the stock already. This is not someone that you could follow or try to copy. It's pretty much impossible because he's a very unpredictable uh, person as most of you actually know. Now if you've been watching my channel since pretty much 2022 or late 2021 you actually know my story with WBD and this is a stock that I pretty much used to own. I don't own it anymore. I'm going to share a quick story of WBD and then I can get into the analysis. But this is a stock that I was buying after pretty much whenever they merged Dora Brothers Discovery and Discovery stock. This is when I had it, when it was Discovery. And I looked at the pro forma numbers, I saw the stock was undervalued and it just kept going down. I kept averaging in, the stock kept going down because whatever they had for the pro forma numbers, they were not accurate. The management's debt repayment were not going as they were going. So I pretty much sold it at a loss around the 20 24% loss, around $13 per share. And then the stock went to around $8. And this is when I looked like a genius on YouTube because I sold WBD. But after that, out of nowhere, the stock goes up over 80% in just a few months. And this is when I start looking like an idiot. People told me, why would you sell WBD? You sold it at a loss. All the people that listened to you, they did not do well. You hurt a lot of people and all this kind of thing. Just stupid stuff. But if we look a few months later, WBD is still sitting at $13. And whenever I sold it, I said, I'm buying Google. And in this period, Google is up over 55%. So it would be nice to see if some of the WBD trolls are still here. But unlike others, whenever I make a mistake, I admit it, I cut my losses, and I move on. And the mistake I made with WBD is I overestimated the pro forma numbers. They were not accurate. I saw the management debt repayment was not going on plan. They were saying that we're fine with the debt situation. This is not what I wanted to hear. But I saw massive improvements with the company, and I'm going to share my analysis here in today's video. And if we look at the latest earnings report, you know, it looks horrible on the surface. If you look at the numbers, revenue missed, adjusted loss per share is 51 cents versus 41. It also missed subscribers net additions. It's actually a 1.8 million loss versus a 1.6 million loss. Now I did some research and I believe the loss is largely due to people canceling subscriptions because they are merging Discovery Plus and you know HBO into one subscription, which is HBO Max. And this is why they're losing a lot of subscribers, but I'm not sure if this is the only reason why, but it's a big part of the reason why WBD is losing a lot of you know the direct to consumer subscribers. But one of the things that David Zaslav said on day one, he said, we're not trying to win the streaming war. Because if you look at you know Disney and Paramount, they went pretty much all in on streaming. And it's actually, you know, this losing them a lot of money. David Zaslav has canceled movies, did a lot of things, he got a lot of hate for what he did, but now it's starting to pay off. And WBD revised the previous guide then and now you know it's expecting the direct to consumer business in the United United States to be profitable this year. Now, pretty much no no other place is profitable in streaming except maybe Netflix. I mean, you know, Paramount is losing a lot. Disney is also going on the right direction, but it's still losing money. And WBD expects to make money on, you know, the direct-to-consumer business this year, which is very astonishing to me. It's very impressive. I'm very impressed with what the CEO did. Now everything is starting to come together. And this is something that's pretty amazing. If you look a little bit more in the report, a lot of things have improved adjusted EBITDA which is adjusted for you know restructuring costs and a lot of other things which are one-time expenses is actually up from you know Q2 of 2022 free cash flow is now 1.7 billion which is pretty amazing a lot of improvements pretty much everywhere I was very impressed from the free cash flow guidance so free cash flow guidance for 2023 is now between four and a half to five billion which is massive and it's really going to help them you know pay down the debt and this is the biggest problem 
with the company, it's the debt. And it's the main thesis that I had. My thesis was that the free cash flow would be around five to six billion as they can use it and aggressively pay down the debt. And once they deleverage, they get a multiple expansion. And then they got off track and I sold the position. But now I see that the free cash flow is improving and they are getting back on the right direction which is something pretty nice to see. Now, if you look at the debt, you know, the gross debt is around 47 billion. Net debt is around 43 or 44 billion, which is still a lot of debt. A lot of people are, you know, worried because 23% of the debt matures in, you know, three years. But I don't personally believe this is a big problem. 23% is like $10 billion of debt that matures in three years. But WBD does have a lot of cash. They have around $3 billion of cash and they're making four and a half to five billion every single year so with three billion of cash if they make five every single year for the next three years this is 15 billion with the cash it's 18 billion and the total debt that's due over the next three years is somewhere around 10 or 11 billion which is 23 percent of the debt so i'm personally not worried about the debt in the short term even though it might seem like a big figure 23 percent it's not too bad if the free cash flow remains within guidance four and a half to five billion this would be pretty amazing and the company will be able to to pay down the debt and actually you know reduce interest expense which i'm going to talk about a little bit more in this uh, video now we did look at the free cash flow and we said it's between four and a half and five billion now the main thesis that i had was wbd and i still believe this is the main thesis that you should have with the company is that if the company actually pay down the debt it's going to reduce the interest expense which is going to increase the free cash flow it's going to give the company a multiple expansion and this is how you're going to get upside with the warner brothers discovery you're not buying something you know that that has massive growth like nvidia or anything that they have around 43 billion of net debt and they do have the free cash flow between four and a half to five billion let's assume five billion for the next five years now this is around 25 billion dollars of free cash flow if they take the free cash flow and they pay down 50 percent of the debt in my opinion the interest expense has to decrease around 50 percent now if it decreases from 50 percent from 2.1 billion of interest expense to somewhere around a billion dollars of interest expense this extra billion dollar is going to go to the five billion of free cash flow which is going to become six billion dollars of free cash flow and in my personal opinion if wbd can successfully reduce their debt by over 50 percent it's gonna get a multiple expansion it's gonna go back to a mean of around 10 times free cash flow market cap to free cash flow which in my personal opinion is very fair and i think it's very very possible if the company can just show you know a few years of them reducing the debt and if they do reduce 50 percent of the debt i personally believe they can easily trade at 10 times free cash flow so this is six billion free cash flow without factoring any growth just you know 50 percent debt pay down and the five billion this is six billion of free cash flow times you know 10 times free cash flow this is around 60 billion dollars company the company right now is 30 billion which would be more than a hundred percent on the upside over the next five years with wbd from such prices now there's actually something that i haven't talked about which is the company actually grows and this is what the analysts are expecting they are expecting free cash flow to go from 6 billion in 2024 up to 7.4 billion in 2026 this is because the company is going to grow and it's going to pay down the debt now in my assumption i'm not putting in any growth i'm just putting in the basic 5 billion of free cash flow they're going to use it to pay down 50 percent of the debt the free cash flow becomes 6 billion and it trades at 10 times free cash flow this is 60 billion or a hundred percent on the upside from today's price but if the company does grow and it goes to 7.4 of free cash flow and it trades at 10 times then the upside could be maybe 130 to 150 percent over the next five years with something like wbd so i personally believe the company is extremely undervalued at such prices they have a lot of debt so it could be a value trap i'm not involved in the stock in any way or shape or form i sold it and i just moved on from the investment but i personally believe the company is going on the right track in the restructuring and in paying down the debt and if the free cash flow holds at five billion and they continue doing what they're doing i think there's a lot of upside potential with warner brothers this Discovery that's sitting pretty close to all time low. So, this was no financial advice, of course. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing. So, I hope to see you in another one.